majority of people live their whole life without grasping this one truth of whose image we are made in. Genesis 1 verse 27 records that God created man in his own image. In the image of God created he him, male and female he created he them. You and I are created in the image of God. This was not put into the Bible to fill up pages. It was put there for a purpose. You were put on this earth for a purpose. You are not insignificant. You are not worthless. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are unique in your design. You are his masterpiece. We are different from all other creation. You have been given an amazing ability by God to communicate, to worship, to love, to reason, to think intelligent thoughts. I know some of us are afraid to truly acknowledge this fact that you are made in the image of God, because you have been taught to be humble and you have become so humble that you seem to be in denial about the fact that you are made in his image. But considering the fact that the devil is fighting you because you are a child of God, the least you could do is acknowledge that in fact you are made in his image. God's stamp of approval is on you. It doesn't matter if you are tall or short, if you have straight hair or curly hair, you are beautiful just the way God made you. If we were all meant to look the same exact way, believe me, God would have done it. Just look at identical twins, but even they are different from each other. God could tell them apart from their fingertips. Your outward appearance does not concern God and neither should it concern you. What matters to God is what is on the inside. 1 Samuel 16 verse 7 But the Lord said to Samuel, Do not look at his appearance or at his physical stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord does not see as man sees. For man looks at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. Psalm 33 verse 13 to 15 The Lord looks from heaven. He sees all the sons of men. From the place of his dwelling he looks, and all the inhabitants of the earth he fashions their hearts individually. He considers all their works. He knows you. He knows who you are. He knows where you came from and where you are headed. He knows your thoughts. He knows what you think of yourself, but if only you knew what he thinks of you. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 tells us, For I know the thoughts that I think toward you, says the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you a future and a hope. He does not want to harm you. His plans for you are greater than the one you have for yourself. You are important to God. You may have been told that you are not good enough and that no one will ever love you, but that is not true. That is a lie that from the uttermost pit of Hades there is one who loves you and who cares about you. God does not see what is on the outside, but he sees what is within. He sees the potential in you. He has plans for you. He sees who you could be and who you could become if you would follow him. His plans for you are great. Yes, you may have done wrong in your life, but God has not turned his back on you. No one is perfect. The Bible says in Romans 3 verse 23, For all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. 
all of us, we have all fallen short. It is only by the grace of God that we are saved. Verse 24 and 25 Being justified freely by His grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus, whom God set forth as a propitiation by His blood, through faith to demonstrate His righteousness, because in His forbearance God had passed over the sins that were previously committed. Do you think God would do all that if we did not matter to Him? Why would He give us the option to be saved? He cares enough to give us His grace and mercy. We are saved by His grace because we do not deserve it, and His mercy saves us from what we do deserve. Who would go through all that trouble for an accident? Of course, it is not any trouble for God, but do you understand what I am trying to tell you? Get that out of your mind that you are an accident. You were intentionally created by and intention God. You were not created by accident. You didn't randomly come into being. God created you. You are not a random misfit that just happened to be born. Your parents may have told you that you were an accident to them, but believe me when I tell you, you were no surprise to God. Don't doubt the reason for your existence and definitely do not doubt the existence of God because without Him we are nothing. Without Him we are without purpose. Without Him we are alone. Without Him we would not even exist. Without Him there is no everlasting life. John 1 verse 3 all things were made through Him, and without Him nothing was made that was made. God specifically created you in His image. An image is a semblance or likeness. Psalm 82 verse 6 confirms this. I said you are gods, sons of the highest, all of you. Therefore, it is your duty to walk in a spirit of excellence, because your God is excellent. Excellence is one of the countless attributes of God. In the creation story in the book of Genesis, God made a horse like a horse. He made a frog like a frog, an eagle like an eagle. But when he made humans, he said, I will make men like me according my image and my likeness. This is one of the many reasons why we are supposed to love one another and to love our neighbors, because each of us have the image of God with us. We all are made in the image of God, and we all are equal in value and worth. Never tell anyone they are not important. You must treat others as you would like to be treated. Treat others with the same kindness, mercy and love that God gives to you. 